Stefan Broden, the self-described pastor running as the Tea Party and Republican candidate for the House from the Texas 30th. He's the guy, of course, who last week said violent revolution wasn't the Tea Party's first choice just at the moment, but it was still on the table. So crazy stuff from Broden comes with a pretty high bar. Sadly, he has cleared it. He said Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg wants to exterminate African Americans. She said, we, quote, we pass Roe v. Wade in order to control certain people group, unquote. The woman is a eugenicist, and eugenists believe that there are certain races that have privileges and are more evolved and developed than others. Mr. Broden is, of course, wrong. In July, Justice Ginsburg recapped the legal history of Roe v. Wade for the New York Times and mentioned that there was a fear at the time that Medicaid could wind up being used to coerce women, even women of individual demographic, geographic, or ethnic groups. Justice Ginsburg went on to say none of that was the government's business, then or now. She was simply recreating the temper of the times. But Mr. Broden has watched one too many episodes of The Glenn Beck Show without wearing his helmet. Today, the spouse of a Republican Senate candidate is out defending the family business, its treatment of women. Vince McMahon, of the wrestling guy, the husband of Linda of Connecticut, says he's fed up with, quote, malicious and misleading attacks on his wrestling empire, launching an internet campaign. Presumably, it's where one can stand up for his right to order a female performer to get on all fours and bark like a dog. Here is Linda McMahon defending this with ABC's Christiane Amanpour. As a senator, if you could stop it, would you stop that kind of depiction against women on, uh, on the public airways? Would you at least lobby your campaign against it? Well, I do believe in the First Amendment rights. Uh, and the content So you don't think there's anything wrong with it? Well, content providers are clearly creating scenarios. From an entertainment point of view, I think that you either elect to go to a movie or you elect to watch a program. So I'm a strong proponent of First Amendment rights.